we it's hard to move in this room now because of you and your mess. Oh, one, two, three, are you putting numbers five, in? Six. Yeah, I'm just counting the books that are on the shelves. One, two, three. I'm just... Oh, there are four of them. I... Oh, maybe you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know why I did that way that way. So five. Ah, oh, oh. that bloody noise. Right. So what what you do when you come up when you find a code, a possible code, is you go and put it in every single one. Okay. So that was that five, six, six, three, nine, eight, eight. Oh yeah, eight. Five, six, three, eight. So five six three eight did not work on every single pad. Okay. Well, there was. I'm sure there was one in this room as well. Oh, you put it on there. Okay, five six three eight did not work. What if it's the blanks, not the white bits? Worth a go. So that's what four three six one four three six one. <laughs> Nope, not the blanks either. Just thinking, is it worth trying every single combination type? No. To do with those numbers, is it backwards? No, they'll they'll be in an order for a reason. Oh. Oh what? No, nothing. Sorry. I saw. It's like, but that says atom, but no, it doesn't. It says. Okay, Moam. 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 Okay. Just thrown it out there. Four letters, four digits. Yeah. Could each letter position in the alphabet correspond to the number on the code? So A no, is letter one. No, because M is M is further on than uh, like. Do you mean like a, a a sort of A equals one type jobby? Yeah. No, because M is is further along than the ninth letter. Okay. What a, what if <laughs> um. So what what number is M in the letter bet? Letter bet? Letter bet! <laughs> <laughs> the letter bet. <laughs> As if I just said that. Uh, A, the B, alphabet. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. 13. 13, okay. Plus the position of O. What is O in the alphabet? The 15. 15, okay. So that makes 28. Plus one, plus fifteen. So it's plus thirteen. Sorry. So plus two eight one six. How did you get two eight one six from that? No. Okay. So no. glad we're not timed. Yeah, it's a good job I did turn that off now. No. Um... We'll fail the balls off this. I mean, I suppose the the one. Oh shit! I just dropped something through the bed. There's a reset items button. Do you think we should press that? Where's that? In the escape menu. Did it. Okay, so that's that's neatened everything up. Let's see if it's still unlocked the things we've unlocked. Well, the blood vial yes. is still on there. Yeah. Okay, so everything is neat again. That's really good. Well, that's handy. That is actually an amazing addition. That is ama- <laughs> that that is really good. Now I can get to see this room before you fucked it up. <laughs> I mean, you can now go fuck the room up that is now clean. Oh, that is a, a really good addition. I'm impressed by their their forward thinking. I'm I'm certain that these books on a shelf are the solution, are the next thing to solve. Because look, we did the blood. Mm-hmm. We did the blood to turn the lights on. So we know there is some sort of logic going on here. And to be honest, that was a bit straightforward. So where could we put the books? I think we kind of need a hint, Garen. We can always right, cut fine. it out in post. 
<laughs> Alright. Give hint. Give hint. Use, the, Use key. the key to access the next room. Thanks, we did that. We did that bit. <laughs> okay. Next hint in five minutes. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just wait in five minutes then. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> How do I get it to go away now? It's just... Oh, it's H. Right, that's why you, you press H to hide the hint. <laughs> ah. Right, explain your, your thoughts. Well, there's an 8 and a 9 here. It's just two numbers. I was like, okay. So you're just going to put two numbers into four number keypads? No, I'll put 8989 or 8899. Oh, my God. I... I think we do need to focus on working out the the books on the pictures. Okay. Well, I reckon the, the solution for this bedside cabinet with the skull on it is going to be after we activate this um, x-ray machine because that's got a skull on it. Mm -hmm. So I reckon it'll, like, reveal a number upside down or something. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that looks like a battery in there? Uh, you just, no. You're just mopping the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to mop up the blood. <laughs> Well, Garen, I'm stuck in this room, or this escape room, with you forever. Could be worse, Ben. Yeah. There are always worse people you could be stuck in a room with. This is true. I mean, there was that time I was stuck in a room with your mother for, like, three days. Wow. We got on very well. We had a nice chat. Uh, I made tea. I mean, it was fully stocked with food and water, so, you know, thanks for your concern, but we didn't die of thirst or hunger or anything, but, yeah. We got on very well. I found three shelves we can very clear, by the way. Very well. Yeah, but I don't know what we could put on them. I'm going to ch check this box out Because the... <sighs> the thing is, it's just three shelves. Hang on, before you make more of a mess, let's think about this. It is just three shelves. And three colours. So colors. we can't, like, recreate all of the things. This is true. What's even weirder, this blackboard is interactive, but you can't do anything yeah. with it. There's a, a poster like that in here as well, the uh, the muscle poster you can't interact with, even though it's uh, interactable, and it even has a corner up in the bottom right. We can have a new hint. Might be so worth it. Give hint. I think we both have to press it, maybe? Use the key to, Use the key to access the next oh, room. Oh, shut up. Oh. What? Oh, Ben. What? Okay. Um, if if we don't admit this, someone is going to be like, oh, they cheated. Yeah. I The, the game comes with a walkthrough on, on the Steam Guide. Uh, we were completely stuck. We've been stuck for like 10 minutes. So I looked up the next line and it said, use the rag to clean the thing that looks like a blackboard. Okay. It is not a blackboard and it has four numbers on it. Five, six, four, nine. Five, six, four, nine. I'll try it on everyone. Wait, there was one in that room. Yeah, that's, did... what, that's what I don't try. Yep, yeah, got it. Oh. Oh, a key! Oh, that'll be for the... N and a blood vial. Which I just immediately dropped. Oh, you are joking. I got it, I got it. It's, it's D. Okay, go put it in the vial thing, and I'll wait for you to come through, because I've finished opening I have, I have D, Ben. D, Ben. D, Ben. Well, in this cupboard Doof with ben. a key, there yep. is a oh. battery and a switch. Well, the battery will be for the, uh, the x-ray machine. I've lost the battery, Ben. No, you're joking. It... This game is finicky. I found it again. It's fine. Right, I'll right, put the uh... switch in. And it's in the up position. Okay, the battery is not, in fact, for this thing. What's the battery for? Even more confusing. Oh, the switch goes in the fuse box. Yes. But we can't interact with the fuse box. Oh, no, I put it in Cause there. Because we, we already solved the fuse box issue. <laughs> I think we might have accidentally jumped the queue. 
Yeah, the only thing I've I've seen that looks unpowered is the I dropped the battery again. <laughs> Battery's gone, Ben. Oh no. Yeah, the battery glitched out of the world. Um reset items? Yeah. I think you have to do it because you're the host. Oh, okay. There we go, Patrick's there. Thank you. Yeah, the only thing that's unpowered is the x ray machine. Mm. Oh! Fucking hell. I just managed on. to turn it on. Oh, it's got numbers on. 89594. Eight, That'll be. I reckon. I reckon it's this this one under the bedside table. Go for it. But I reckon it's backwards. So we'll try it forwards. What was it? Eight five nine four. Oh. So four nine five eight. Eight five nine four. Nine four five eight. Sorry, four nine five eight. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice done. And it's oh my god, it's Ben. It's a hard. Oh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh wait, put it on the scales. Nope, no, nothing. The heart. <laughs> it's rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you could always use a heart, Ben. Oh, you know, you're like um, saying I'm heartless. The Grinch. Yours is is clinically too small. Oh, okay. Sorry, no, that's that is that's yeah, that's your that's your penis. Wow. <laughs> Where can, I'm going to put this heart down because I feel really self conscious just carrying around a human heart. But yes, I was trying to put the battery in here, and I just managed to flick the switch on the light. Oh. <laughs> it didn't even use the battery, so we still have the battery in place. So let's use let, let's put on the chair the clues we haven't used. Okay. A battery and a heart. Slowly but surely, Ben and Garen solve the mystery. We would have so failed if we had a timer on right now. <laughs> Apparently the timer was for 70 minutes. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're 20 minutes away from that. Yeah. <laughs> I've never failed an escape room. I've done three or four, and yeah, I've never failed one. Molecule at... no. Molecule atom? No... No. Well, there is a molecule and an atom, but that I, you'd think that would be Moat. I could just think things with atoms. I can think of like atomic mass. So Moat Ma um, is like a. I don't know. There's no like periodic table or anything to help you kind of work that no. one out. I think it's time for another hint. Mm, let's see what happens. <laughs> Give hint. The code is painted in plain sight. Hmm. Uh, the code is painted in plain sight. That could be the one we already got. Yeah. Although I wouldn't describe that as painted. Scrawled in dirt. Paintings. Paintings. Yes. Are these paintings? Oh, I see. It's five, six, three, eight. Oh, yes. Like, yeah, let's use it. Let's do it. We know it's wrong. It's wrong. Um. <laughs> yeah, it must be referring to this. This must be something we actually have to do. Did you just empty this one? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Because I heard the noise, I looked out and you hadn't moved. Really fucking spooky. 5638. It seems really cut and dry. So, we had a look on the walkthrough again, and we, we're doing it very sparingly. Luckily, the walkthrough's designed so that um, you don't get more than one answer at a time by scrolling down. It says that we were correct in thinking these white books represent numbers and that this these four represent the code for this door however the number it says on the walkthrough is not the doesn't correspond in any way to the numbers we have so it says it's seven four one three 
How the hell do you get that from these books? Well, as I said, that you can get four from this, three from this, because they're blanks. But there's not yeah. seven blanks here. There's six. I see absolutely no way you could possibly get seven from this. At all. I have no idea how someone looked at these four things, which obviously say five, six, three, eight, and decided seven, four, one, three is the correct number. I have no idea. So, I, I mean, at this point, we're beginning to get frustrated with the fact that we keep having to look up hints. Okay. But if this is the correct way you work it out, how is that the correct answer? Hmm, interesting. Right, let's go for the door. Okay. Uh-oh! Oh. Okay. This just suddenly got darker. Don't look at the picture on the wall, it's creepy. Okay, there's a viewing room. Okay. Is there a light switch, Ben? Or is this the lights on? This is the lights on. No, that's... That I can interact with, I can't open. Oh yeah, here's a... The, there's like a tray of tools that you can interact with, but doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, do we need to bring the heart? Because that means like maybe dissecting kind of thing. I'll go grab the heart. It is not a thing that I was hoping to say today. <laughs> Come on, heart. Come on. Oh. On skull. See anywhere obvious to put it? On skull, that's the developer. Oh, okay. Right, oh, I'm putting the heart the on the open. Oh, there's some glasses here. It's very dark in this room. It is very dark in this room. Hang on, I'll try putting the heart on the table of tools. Nope. Surgical mask. Glasses. I've got another keypad over here, by the way. So whatever we find in this room unlocks this door here. Oh, I'll just teleport miles away. Oh, I found some forceps. They can go on the, uh, the the tray here, I think. Yep. So it looks like we're looking for tools to finish the uh, the tray. Okay. So I'm going to have a look in all of the morgue drawers. You can't put the glasses there. Which sounds a bit like an alcoholic beverage. Oh, and there's a code here as well. We need another item for the tray. Looks like the forceps are getting bigger. I think they're called forceps. Oh, and another one. 